So just when I thought, with the WWE putting in the Memphis Midcourt piece of crap in their 2018 Hall of Fame class, that they wanted war. And just as I was ready to give them a war, and just as I was ready to go all in on these jokers, then they decide to do something to almost totally redeem themselves. When I saw the report start to leak late Sunday night, early Monday morning, that the last inductee into the 2018 WWE Hall of Fame class was going to be none other than the world's strongest man, Mark motherfucking Henry. I popped. A little. I popped a lot. Okay? I had a smile on my face all day long. Like nothing was going to kill that buzz for me. Nothing was going to ruin that highlight for me, ruin that moment for me. And then as I tuned into Raw and they ran the video package, what a great video package it was. It made me feel complete. Like even watching Raw, I'll be honest, I really didn't care that much because my day had already been made. It doesn't always have to be complicated. It sometimes can be the simple things that mean so much. And I know for somebody like me who gets called a cuck for the black wrestlers and then SJW and all this other stuff. Some of you surely aren't surprised, but over the years, I was always a big fan of Mark Henry. You talk about a dude that was part of the nation after coming into WWE to great fanfare from his time as a world-class two-time Olympian powerlifter, even as the company initially brought him in, didn't really know what to do. You put him in the nation, and it's off to the races. And then he becomes sexual chocolate, which by all reports was a rib by Vince McMahon trying to knock on him for his weight. And the shit got over, and it worked. And when you think about the glories of the Attitude Era, and you think about ridiculousness that is also awesome and epic and entertaining to the nth degree, you think about Mark Henry, May Young, and a hand. That's what you think of. You think of stuff like that. Crazy, off the wall, totally unrealistic, and complete epic awesomeness. And you think about Mark Henry looking like the Kool-Aid man. Ooh, yeah. You think about Mark Henry and his run in 2006 where he's going after The Undertaker and he's facing him in a casket match at WrestleMania. And of course, for me personally, it's funny because... In a lot of ways, it, it, it signals like the end of an era a little bit. And, you know, I think to the old Off the Rope show, this channel, OTRS Central, and there is no doubt, no doubt, that ironically enough, two of the single things that are most associated with me, this channel, and the stuff we've done over the years are the founder and Mark Henry. And that cannot be denied. Like, those are two of the things. And I think about Mark Henry. And I think about how much he personally meant to me and this channel. Especially in 2011 in the buildup as he's getting that push. And people are really starting to resent Randy Orton. Especially what happened with Christian. And of course, everybody was introduced to a 30-pound gray furball of big gray and sexy. Advocating for... The world's strongest man. You want to talk about advocates? You want to talk about Paul Heyman? Well, compared to Smokey, Paul Heyman can eat dicks. Because he can never measure up. Never. Never. But damn it, I think about those times, like 2011, 12, 13. And those were really the best of times. Like even when the product wasn't always that good. And even when there were a lot of things to complain about. It was just different. I still had the old crew with me. And we could play off of each other in the videos, and it really helps sometimes. You know, you had all these different ideas, different things that we did, different character concepts, different skits, different segments, different video topics, video series. And, and one of the staples and hallmarks of that was Mark motherfucking Henry, who care about Mr. Ralph. Let's talk about Mark Henry. And, you know, when Smokey passed in 2013, back in October that year, it was like, I'll be perfectly honest, it felt like a big piece of me, the identity of the channel, died with him. And never has come back, if we're being completely honest. And we know that's true. Same year I move away, 
and you know I go from Iowa to Virginia. Now the guys are over there. I'm here, and then that happens too. It was just like a double kick in the crotch in terms of the show, and for me personally as well. But I think about Mark Henry, and I can't help but think about Smokey. I can't help think about the better times for this show, for this channel, for the old show, the old channel. I can't help but think about even when wrestling was bad, and it's been bad for several years now, if we're being honest, how much more fun it used to be, and how much Mark Henry was a part of that. And I will never forget, I will never forget, when Smokey did pass, and I did the tribute video for him, that when I put it out there on Twitter, Mark Henry responded. I've always appreciated that. I've always respected the man for that. And I will never, ever forget it. And you will be damn pressed to ever hear me say any bad words about Mark Henry for that and so much more. But I think about him and with all the crap he had to put up with over the years and some of the crap allegedly Michael P.S. Hayes said to him and other people said to him. And he stayed there. And he stayed through it, and he became one of those truly reliable hands. And you see some of the different people on Twitter, held Braun Strowman talking about how much Mark Henry meant to him at the early stages of his uh, career. And I just think about this is a guy that was there for so many years. I always felt was kind of underappreciated, underrated. And then when it came time for 2011, and he finally got that big push and they were going to follow through on it, it's not a surprise the people took to it. And for that period of time he was champion, SmackDown ratings actually popped a little bit. They went up compared to with Randy Orton being the champion. And it was just for a company that for so many years has done so much to kind of dismiss and be kind of secondhand in the way they've treated a lot of their non-white wrestlers, and specifically black wrestlers at that, to see them take Mark Henry, after so many years of him having to do some silly dumb crap, finally take him seriously and go all the way with him. While it wasn't the WWE Championship to me at that time, it was more important because Mark Henry had the freaking World Heavyweight Championship. But it feels like, you know, like I said, it kind of an end of an era and it's kind of sad in a way. Because it doesn't look like, unfortunately, I'm going to be able to go to WrestleMania. And now, of course, is the year that Mark Henry goes into the Hall of Fame. And that sucks. I would have really loved to have been there to be a part of that. But life gets in the way and decides it wants to kick you in the dick and you have other priorities that come up and so be it. But I will promise you this much, I'll most certainly make sure that I'm watching the Hall of Fame ceremony because I want to see that speech. And I want to see that salmon suit, baby. Hashtag salmon suit. We need it one more time, Mark. One more time. It wouldn't hurt our feelings if you picked up Cena and slammed him one more time for the F all of it. But... This is a reason for me to celebrate. It's a reason for me to look back on a career of a guy that I've been entertained by over the years. And like I said, over the past several years had meant so much to me, especially in the first couple of years of doing this here on YouTube. For those wondering, you know, we're still kayfabing it. What would Smokey have done? He would have, if he, if he was, if he knows, I'm sure what he would do, he'd be seducing the ladies like he always did eating cheeseburgers like he always did, and licking himself. Why? Because he can. And who's going to say something to the 30 pounds of big, gray, and sexy? Mm. Mm -mm -mm. I miss that cat. And I miss the good times that came along with Mark Henry being at the top of SmackDown. I really do. I really, really do. But it will be fun at WrestleMania weekend that Friday night, the Hall of Fame ceremony, to think back on those good memories, those positive memories. It, it will be a lot of fun for me. It will be kind of emotional at the same time, too, because, like I said, it kind of goes a little bit deeper, and I hope that a lot of you understand that. If not, so be it. That's fine. Um, but he most certainly deserves to be in the Hall of Fame. That's for damn sure, and I'm glad he's getting that opportunity and he's getting that spot this year. And like I said, no matter what happened with Raw on Monday and Ultimate Deletions and anything else, Absolutely nothing, and I mean nothing, was going to ruin my mood yesterday when I found out this news. Because to me, you know, this was a big freaking deal and a real reason for me to mark out at a time with wrestling where I just don't have a lot of those anymore. But also sad in knowing that the wrestling that I've known for so many years is going away. And unfortunately, I feel like the wrestling fan that I've known for so many years is going away with it too. But in the meantime, WrestleMania weekend, 
we still gonna celebrate. Cause Mark motherfucking Henry go in his rightful place in the WWE Hall of Fame as the headliner. Go book understand. If not, he can eat shit. Why? Because Smokey fucking said so. Mark Henry, FTW.